video about the latest version of Ubuntu and some of the fucking things I found wrong with it. I've never liked Ubuntu much anyway, but this version is ridiculous. The first problem is is, is simply booting the system. It's not Grub 2, well it's actually Grub 1.4 or something. And it's beta. So why the fuck would you ship a beta with a stable operating system? I don't know. Especially with a bootloader. But it takes about 30 seconds to find my drives on every single boot. This is ridiculous. It, you you just can't do this. Especially when you're shipping a stable distro. Uh, 40 megabytes of updates. There was 40 megabytes of updates on the first boot. That's just ridiculous. This was only shipped like less than a week ago. And there's already this many updates. It just shows you how fucking unstable it was. And... Oh, it, it really annoys me. Let's have a look at the resource usage, shall we? Uh, there we um, Look at all this. This is this is just stupid. Uh, Bluetooth? I don't have any Bluetooth on my system. The installer should have detected that and never installed it. Mandriva does this. Why can't the Ubuntu? You know, it's, it's basic stuff. Um, Network manager. Now I don't have wireless, so network manager is totally pointless. It should have just used if up or something. Pulse audio. Oh, Pulse audio is still here, but I won't get rid of it now because it will fuck up my video. SSH. I don't want SSH on a fucking desktop PC. Come on. Uh, well, I don't even know what the fuck that is. I don't know what's up with the CPU usage either. It might be because I'm recording, but I don't know. I'm not sure. Memory usage isn't too bad, but I've seen better on the GNOME desktop. Let's take a look at the new software center. Uh, whoa, that, that's disgusting. That's really consistent, by the way, with the new theme. It, look, the blue and brown, it, it looks good, doesn't it? What a joke. Let's let's fix that. Uh, God, this is so slow. Look at, look at this. This is ridiculous. Well, that looks slightly better. Installed software. Well, that is not all the installed software. Oh, that's for sure. I don't see Bluetooth there or anything. So this is bullshit. This is hiding things from people. This is stupid. This, oh, this annoys. Stuff like this annoys me. Let's have a look. Uh, is that a crappy thing? Yep, that's still there. Okay. So let's add that to the list. Software center high stuff. I cannot type, really. Uh, whoa, one two seven five installed pack. Whoa, that's ridiculous. I've never seen a GNOME desktop with so many packages installed. This really annoys me. This, oh, I don't know. This seems to pull itself down with everything in Debian, and I really don't need it. Now look at all this shit. Look, really, it's not needed. Um, I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna start removing shit. While I'm at this stage, I just thought I'd bring up something. I've seen a lot of people on the internet with a default Ubuntu install who have bashed Mono and said, you know, boycott it, it's no good. Well, until you remove this, don't say shit like that because you're obviously a hypocrite. It's installed on Ubuntu by default. It may not be the whole lot, but you know, there's some of it there. So shut up. Um, I've made my mind up on what I want to remove. I haven't gone through this with a fine tooth comb or anything like I would if I was actually using the system, but I've chopped off 168 irrelevant packages. I've got rid of the main stuff I'm never really going to use. And this is bringing me to my next point here. Why the fuck do you say that apt is the fastest package manager? This is slow. This is really slow. You obviously haven't used Pac-Man or Yum or anything. It, this is slow. Look, this is slow. This would have been done by now on yum. See? Look. And then it reads a database a heck of a lot, app does, and it takes a while sometimes. But that's one of my many complaints with um, apt. So let's add that to the list. Apt still sucks. Oh, and also, mono is included still. And I like mono. But this is a this is against the people who complain about it. It's installed by default. Still, okay. My main complaint with apt isn't so much that it's slow. The main thing about it is the dependency handling is fucking horrible. 
I'm going to stick with wine here for our example because it really doesn't depend on anything. It, if you download the wine package, it should just be able to install with no other dependencies. Sure, there are optional things to extend it, but you don't need them to run it. So let's use Ubuntu's way and install wine. I've added all that stuff to the sources already. See, look at this. It wants me to install this. Now, all I really need is wine here. This stuff is recommended. It doesn't actually need, it's not actually required to make wine run. So, I'm just going to go ahead and say no to this. Now, I don't know what they're trying to do here, but all it's doing is blowing up people's systems. It's not right and app does this all along. It's terrible. It's not just with wine, it's with other packages as well. So, let's force install wine. slow anyway now let's test wine <sighs> as you can see wine is working absolutely perfectly there's nothing wrong with it at all look see it's working so what's with all them dependencies back up there I don't know I really don't but it's working just fine Right, now I've forced installed that package, you may be thinking, oh that's good, he's forced installed it, it'll work now. Watch what happens now. This is really funny, I, f I, find, this, I find this hilarious to be honest. Oops. That sound is really pissing me off by the way. Look at that, I have one broken package on my system. Fuck off, I don't have one broken package on my system. I forced installed it, you should know that. If I forced installed it, you should ignore shit like that. So, well, you'd think, oh, that's all well and good. But let me see. If I try and install another pro program now, and then click apply, it's going to remove wine. <laughs> that's so stupid. It's ridiculous. Just because it thinks it's broken, and then when you look, there's no actual way to tell it, ignore this package. You know, it's ridiculous. I can't even lock the damn thing. See, it's still gonna want to remove it. I find this, I find this hilarious. I laugh every time because apt is this bad. It's ridiculous. It can't just ignore the fact that I want this package installed. Other package, other package managers can. So why can't this? It's, it's just choke. It's funny. It really is. So, oh, I better use. It. 